Now I'm gonna add a fourth cup of maple. You could skip this altogether. <laughs> the cinnamon has been like in my nose for the past 20 seconds and I've been trying to power through, but it didn't work. Hey guys, I'm Emma Ryan, Integrative Nutrition Health Coach and founder and owner of Plant. And today we are making blueberry waffles. One of my best friends had her first kiddo about a week ago and the day before she went into labor, she said the only thing she wanted was waffles. So we made blueberry waffles and I figured we had to share them with you. So in order to make these waffles, we're using a homemade oat flour. So if you haven't watched our how to make your own flour video yet, be sure to watch that first, make your own oat flour and then jump back to this recipe. So to start, I'm actually gonna make a flax egg. So I have two tablespoons of ground flaxseed and I'm just gonna add, I have it in a little bowl and I'm just gonna pour a fourth a cup of water into it. And then I'm just gonna stir this up and let this sit as we make the rest of our batter. Um, so if you've never made a flax egg before, the, the flax seeds will start to absorb that water and it'll turn into like a jelly consistency, which will help bind our waffles together since they are gluten-free. So that's what we're looking for there. So while that sits, we can go ahead and make the rest of our batter. So I'm gonna use a cup and a half of oat flour. And like I said, if you haven't watched our flour video yet, you can do that first. So we have that there. I'm gonna add in, um, let's see, this is, I have to look at my recipe because I don't have this one memorized since it's new. So a teaspoon of baking soda and uh, one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna add all this to the bowl. And then let's see, I'm doing a half teaspoon of Himalayan salt. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon And now I'm just gonna mix this up well. I want that baking soda and baking powder to kind of mix in with the oat flour. And then I'm going to add a cup of homemade almond milk. And this is the same as the oat flour. So if you haven't watched our almond milk video yet, you can watch that and then hop back here. But this is just a cup of our house-made almond milk. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of lemon juice. Um, it's very important that we have the acid with the baking soda. It'll help kind of get everything to work and activate, I should say. So I'm gonna to start to mix this in. You can kind of hear the baking soda start to sizzle a little, which I actually kind of think is cool. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna add a fourth a cup of maple and you can skip this all together if you don't want to add maple to your waffle batter. However, I do feel like it adds a lot of flavor and it helps make it to where you don't have to add as much syrup on your pancake, which I actually like. Um, that way you can eat it on your way out the door if you need to. So there's our maple. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla as well. And mix this up really, really well. Okay, now that is starting to look really good. Well combined. I'm gonna check on my flax egg, so go ahead and kind of give this a little stir. And you'll see that it's kind of thickened up into more of a gel, so that's perfect. So I'm just gonna add that to my batter, mix that in. And now, like I said, we're making blueberry waffles, so I'm gonna add about a half a cup of blueberries, and I'm gonna save the rest to add as a topping at the end. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of these in. Mix them in, and you could skip the blueberries altogether. You could do bananas, you could do apples, you could do another berry. Um, you could also do chocolate chips. That would be really yummy. I'm a chocolate fiend though, so it just depends on how much you like chocolate. <laughs> um, so anyway, so our batter is done. So this, you could make the batter like a day in advance as well. So I could let this sit overnight and make waffles tomorrow if I wanted to. Um, but we're gonna make them here, obviously. So I have my waffle iron. This is a commercial waffle iron. Um, most of you guys will have a smaller one at home and it'll work just the same. You'll actually get more waffles out of this recipe than I will with this one since it's a little bit bigger. Um, but I am gonna use just an avocado oil spray to grease the iron so that I don't um, get anything stuck to it. So I'm just gonna spray that down. And then I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop to actually scoop the batter and place it into the waffle iron. So I'm gonna bring it up here with me so I don't drip it anywhere. <laughs> 
So because of the size of my waffle iron, I'm using a, two scoops per waffle. However, most um, of the waffle irons you guys will probably have is just gonna be a single scoop. Let that down. And each waffle in this iron, it's been taking me about five minutes per waffle. So we'll make some waffles and then we'll show you the finished product. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my last waffle from the waffle iron and I just use a fork to kind of get it up off the uh, griddle. It gets a little hot and place it on your plate. So mine made, that whole batter made three pretty big sized waffles. <laughs> Uh, so you'll probably get at least double that. Um, I'm just gonna top them with some blueberries and drizzle with a little maple syrup. And it's really nice if you wanna add like almond butter or cinnamon powder on top too. I did that the other day and it was really yummy. So again, I'm just gonna drizzle one of these with maple and then I'm good to go. I do want you guys to know though, before I wrap this up, that you can take these waffles and freeze them and then you can just pop them in the toaster when you're ready to eat them. So if you have kids at home, you could make a triple batch or a double batch, put them in the freezer. It's a lot healthier than like an Eggo waffle or something like that. And again, just put them in the toaster and you have breakfast on the go. But be sure to comment below, subscribe, let us know what recipes you're looking forward to and I will see you soon.